Hello, my name is Carlos Boyd and I am a senior technical marketing architect with VMware. I am going to give you a brief overview followed by a demonstration of the key new features for version 1.9 of VMware Postgres SQL for Kubernetes. Version 1.9 introduces two new roles, the read-only role and the read-write role. These new roles in addition to the previously available super user and application user role, minimize the effort of providing discrete user access to VMware PostgreSQL managed instances. Let's take a look at how the two new roles are implemented. To demonstrate the new user roles, I will be using my local Minikube cluster. Using a text editor, open the manifest file, which I have named my-postgres.yaml, and provide the parameters for the deployment. For now, I will provide a custom database name, but will leave the names for the four user roles blank. Note that these custom names are all optional. Close the manifest file and save it, and then request a Postgres instance using this manifest file. First, the operator creates a monitor pod that holds the state information for the instance environment. Next, the operator creates a pod according to the parameters provided in the manifest file. Once the pod is running, the Postgres instance is initialized. Now that the instance is running, I can use the kubectl command to run the psql utility on the newly created pod. I will issue the command to list all the databases. And as you can see, the database name new database that I just created is displayed. Next, I use the du command to list the existing roles. You can see the default names of the automatically created user roles. Had I defined the custom names for the user roles in my manifest file, the database and the four roles would have been created with their respective custom names. I verify this using psql to list the databases and the user roles that were created. Over the past 12 months, VMware Postgres SQL has added support for mainstream Kubernetes management platforms. Version 1.9 continues this trend by enabling the installation of the VMware Postgres operator on Red Hat OpenShift clusters. Let me demonstrate how easy it is to integrate VMware Postgres SQL with OpenShift. To demonstrate the OpenShift integration, I am using my local Red Hat Code Ready Container, or CRC, which provides a minimal pre-configured OpenShift 4.0 cluster. The default Postgres operator value has the parameter Enable Security Context set to true. This parameter must be set to false for OpenShift. Using a parameter override file, I set the enable security context parameter to false. Using Helm, I install the Postgres operator using the parameter override file. After a minute or so, the operator will show a status of deployed. With the Postgres operator now deployed, I can use the kubectl command to view the operator resources. I use my custom manifest file, pgtest1.yaml, to deploy a Postgres instance. Using kubectl, I check the status of my instance and see that it is created. Next, I will log into the desktop of my local code ready container to verify my instance in OpenShift. I am providing Kubernetes administrator credentials to log into OpenShift. Once logged in, I navigate to Pods under the Workloads menu. Then I will use a filter to only display my newly deployed pod. After applying a filter, you can see the status of my newly created pod. To learn more about the features and capabilities in VMware Postgres SQL for Kubernetes, you can check out the most recent blog articles and product documentation. Links to these resources are provided at the end of this video. Thank you.